Okay, like I said, I want you guys to try this on your own. If you haven't done it, try it without my help, and then we'll go the exact opposite way. So now we're going to start with the interval, graph it, and then write the inequality. The inequality remembers are the greater thans or less thans. So at 6, 6 is to the right, so maybe I want to move my 0 left a little bit. Uh, 4 is close to the middle, so maybe just go right in the middle here. And same with the 3. All right, so that's my 0 right there. So now I'm going to go to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is right here. Remember, bracket is the same thing as a closed circle. So at 6, I'm going to go closed circle. And then it says, hey, go from 6 to negative infinity. That's to your left. All right. So now as I write the inequality, remember that the variable is always over here on the left side. So we're going to go x. And now how do these numbers compare to 6? They are all less than. And because it's a closed circle, we're going to put a bar for bracket, which means it includes the 6. Boom. Done. All right. Now I'm going to go this time. I'm going to go to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to put an open circle this time because it's a parenthesis. If you look back to the previous ones. But this time we're going to positive infinity. Once again, this is saying, hey, this is your left, this is your right. So we're going this way. And maybe I'll just pick a different letter of time. Maybe we'll say this is letter P. It doesn't matter. They may assign a letter or not. And my number is 4. And we must go greater than 4. So I'm going to use the greater than symbol, like 5, 6. And you can plug them in to see if they'd work. And because it's open, we'll not have a bar. Uh, for the last one here, we're at negative 3. Bracket here, so close circle. And this one is also positive infinity. You can see this is on the left, this is on the right, so that's kind of a hint. Which means we're going that way. Uh, maybe we'll use a different letter, maybe the letter C. And we'll use our negative 3. And now the, the arrow is going to the right, which is greater than. So if I pick any number over here, to make it true, I just have to be greater than negative 3. And because it's closed, we put in an equal to. So once again, these two include 6 and negative 3 as a solution, or this one, 4, does not work because it does not equal to 4. All right. Uh, that concludes example 1B. I want you guys now, the last iteration of this is 1C. This is example 1C. Is now I give you a graph. I want you to write the inequality and the interval. If you think you know what you're doing, pause the video now and answer these three. All right, we're back. So once again, I'm gonna start out, I'm just gonna pick random letters here. Let's go X, Y, and Z is my letters. It doesn't matter, I just made those up. I'm gonna write down my numbers, three, two, and negative two. Okay. Um, open circle means no equal sign, and we're looking for bigger numbers, greater numbers that are going to the right, no bar. Here I have numbers going to the left, less than, left, less than, but I'm going to include a bar this time to include 2 as my solution. And the last one, I got negative 2 is greater than or equal to, once again closed, going to the right. Um, intervals, okay, once again, on these two, I have positive infinity, so they have to be the term on the right side, okay, this one, I have an infinity on the left, and I have to put a negative in front of it, so we got that, on the left side of this one is a positive three, and remember all the infinities, we put parentheses, open circle is parentheses, uh, 2 is bracket, and negative 2 on the left is also a bracket. So once again, always remember for the intervals, left to right, negative 2 to infinity, negative infinity to positive 2, and 3 to positive infinity. All right, this concludes our first example. We're going to come back with solving inequalities, and then we'll do compound inequalities.